Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Rico Lumpkins, a.k.a. The Vet. What? Checking in with you uh, in response to a few requests from, uh, or email requests from rlumpkins at platworldprojects.com. And that's R-L-U-M-P-K-I-N-S at P-L-A-T-W-O-R-L-D. P-R-O-J-X.com. Um, a few people have asked me uh, on numerous occasions to show how I um, automate plugins. And for today's uh, demonstration or tutorial, I am going to be um, automating an EQ within Pro Tools. Now, it could be Logic, it could be Ableton, it could be any other DAW like uh, Cubase or something like that. But today we're going to use um, uh, Pro Tools, and this is Pro Tools 9, by the way. 9 point good question this is 9.1 no 9.0 0. 0. there is a, a later update but i haven't done that yet nevertheless um the first thing we want to do is um pay attention to a few parameters that need to be either turned on uh and and or set um so the first thing we want to do when automating and a plug-in is we got to have some audio so let's go ahead and import our audio and I do shift command I uh, command or Apple equals control for you PC users uh, we'll just use dance all night I'll double click and push convert and that uh, will will import for us it's going to ask us where does it want to import I've already done it for us um, and it imported in two separate mono audio files instead of interleaved uh, and this over here uh, and I've also uh, created a click track under track create click track and I've tapped my tempo by taking my conductor maestro man off and highlighting uh, the tempo and simply just tapped it in according to the, the tempo of my my track. So if I play it. And so what I did is tap T as I highlighted the tempo with the track, and it, it basically analyzed it along with the uh, the beats that I was tapping in synchronization with the um, the track or the, the song. Why don't um, I go ahead and instantiate a Digirack EQ3? Uh, we'll use the seven band here, okay? Um, after I insert my EQ, then I'm going to come over here to my window, my drop down uh, window for Tito Automation um, enabled window, which is Command 4. And if I do Command 4, you can see that pops up for us. All right. Uh, what I want to do at this point is actually um, normally your plugins will, I mean, your parameters will look like this or they will look like this. Okay. And I'm just option clicking on it to toggle them all off and on same time but we want to since we're automating a plugin is choose plugin you, you, just make sure it's on I mean if you're doing this this is cool too but just be be conscious that you may be overriding or uh, uh, some some other parameters so let's just keep plugin on for now okay and we can hide that back command four. the next um, parameter I want to take a look at is over here on my track my um, um, dance track or audio track is this automation mode selector okay and if I click on it you want to make sure that it's not off because if you do if I'll, I'll show you here in just a moment if it's off it won't read anything so you want to either put it on read or you want to put it on touch mode I, I like to leave it in, in read but in fact yeah let's leave it in read but you can also put it in write if you're doing real-time automation okay well, let's keep it in uh, read for now and the next uh, parameter I want to look at is over here under this auto button which is actually our automation or plug-in automation enable window all right um, and today we're gonna I mean I can automate all these parameters guys by simply highlighting everybody and pushing add push OK you can see all these little bitty green uh, highlighted areas appeared so if I change this to right, you can see now they all turn red. So all of these parameters are going to be automated in just a moment. For now, let's just keep it in read, okay? You see it went back to green. All right, let's go back here because all I want to do for now, and some of them I missed, but that's okay. 
uh, let's remove these. If you want to remove it, just simply highlight them and remove. Okay. Today, let's just do this low pass frequency parameter, which is going to reside right here. Okay. And as you can see, sometimes less is best. So if you start adding all these uh, plugin parameters uh, in your automation enable window, basically what's going to happen, you're going to start bogging down your, your RAM and you're going to have to add more memory. Um, so for demonstrations, we'll you do low pass frequency and push OK. And you can see here it is right here. OK, so if I change this to right, there it is. If I take it to off, it goes off. OK, so let's keep it on read for now and let's turn it on obviously we have to always turn on that particular parameter otherwise you're not going to hear it do anything okay and so now let's uh, come over here to grid value all right and let's choose half note because when I come over here to my waveform and go down to effects a that's what we just turned on over here guys so now it shows up and here we go we're about to start having some fun alright so uh, let me zoom out just a little bit and and with my A to Z keys I have R and T or you can do command for uh, back bracket or back bracket uh, let's start drawing some good stuff in from the top Let's go with my hand tool and see, I could start doing this simply by clicking and making some breakpoints. Okay, push return. Okay, so now the cool thing is, um, that's all right, but it's a little time consuming drawing it in like that, right? Okay, so let's go and you can see that the parameters were moving in my plugin window or my plugin, uh, my EQ plugin. So let's undo that, Command Z. And now here's a real cool trick, guys. If I go over here and choose that half bar in my grid value, you can see my grid here, okay? If I were to change it over here to like one bar, these of course increase these increments. If I do the 116, it gives me more. All right, but let's just do one half for now. And let's go over here to our triangle tool and let's click and drag all the way down and to the right. And now watch what happens. <laughs> All right, so let's have a little bit more fun and let's come over here to like one a quarter note after this All right for you guys that want to get a little crazy with it All right, so it gives you that little warping effect which is really cool um, And so I won't get into uh, real-time automation But you know say for example I assign these parameters to one of my controller knobs on my keyboard or something like that I, I can go ahead and utilize the, the actual knob to uh, go to write mode and actually uh, write it in real time. Okay, so that's um, my tutorial on automating an EQ or a plugin in Pro Tools. Hope this helps some of you guys. Please subscribe, leave a comment, and also hit that like button there for me. This is Rico Lumpkins, aka the Vet Boy, checking in, now checking out. Yee!